34 witnesses have so far recorded statements following the Kenal Moranga County chaos that resulted in the deaths of two young boys. Sources within the police department revealing that the order to arrest Kiharu Member of Parliament, Didi Nyoro, and his Kandara counterpart, Alice Wahome, was yet to be affected when even as questions around the slow pace of investigations. As our very own Jim Taigo in reports, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission has called for a stop to the divisive and disruptive politics being propagated by the political class that is threatening to tear this country apart. Take a look. <laughs> It is this since witness two days ago in Muranga County when rival groups clashed ahead of Deputy President William Ruto's meeting in the area that has moved the government, its agencies and religious groups into action, condemning what they fear will spark a spate of organized political violence at a time when political temperatures are rising by the day. <laughs> Three days later, however, police are yet to give satisfactory progress reports. The Director of Internal Affairs in the National Police Service and two senior DCI officers have so far recorded statements from 34 witnesses, including businessmen. Politicians whose warrant of arrest had been issued are still at large. Kiharu Member of Parliament Ndindi Nyoro, one of them, continued to dare the police to come for him. They have the system. They can track our phones as readers. They can track anyone's phone. They can know my whereabouts every day. They know for sure I was not involved in the mess. I am not surrendering. If you need me, I'm here at home. Please come and arrest me. Today, the National Cohesion and Integration Commission, which has already warned politicians against early campaigns, cautioning that if unchecked, the succession politics will push the country over the cliff. Now is not the time to engage in divisive succession politics. Our politicians must exercise tolerance as they go about their competitive campaigning. Their statement coming as the Evangelical Alliance called on the Attorney General to criminalize the use of criminal gangs to fund violence. To be a criminal offense that will have grave repercussions so that politicians will think twice before they hire. We also ask our pastors and leaders to take charge of their places of worship and should not allow the podiums and platforms to be used for political rhetoric. NCIC further condemning utterances by Muranga Governor Mwangi Wairia that no leader would hold a meeting in his county without his blessing and authority. It is wrong and unconstitutional to prohibit people from moving around and meeting. We call upon leaders to go ahead and organize their meetings if they wish, but to ensure that they are peaceful. Nairobi leaders pledging to stop the use of hired youth to perpetrate violence during the campaign period. Never again that we are going to allow you to use our Nairobi boys to go and terrorize other people in any part of this country. It is not helpful to try to balkanize this, station, uh, this nation in terms of the haves and the have-nots. What we should be fighting for is how to get equal opportunity for our young people. Wale viongozi ambao wamekuwa kipereka vijana wetu kupatiwa huiru baru. Tunataka kuambia sisi viongozi wa Nairobi, we are going to provide real empowerment to our youth. As succession politics intensify ahead of the 2022 general election and with the possibility of a referendum, political temperatures are bound to hit fever pitch. Eyes will be on the government agencies and the political leaders to quell the rising tensions. Chamutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.